in this case, we're doing a basic OCR or ICR, intelligent character recognition, which is handwriting, in a structured form uh, using uh, OCR. But in this case, we're not going to actually say, hey, look in this area for the word Mandy. We're actually going to be using what we call a reg regex or regular expression search. So the cloud engines will return OCR, and then we're going to look for the word first name middle, last name, address. And what happens is it's a cleaner way, it's a different strategy or methodology to extract data because forms can shift. Forms have this constrained block of writing, which is very hard to uh, remove and get good OCR from. So we can actually rely on the OCR returned as a whole from the actual engine and then parse through it looking for regular expressions or words or phrases for that matter. So we're going to come in here. Now in this case, we're going to grab one particular document that has multiple forms in it and we'll grab our demo documents here, LabCorp. And so we have five documents. We'll, we'll process that. And again, we have those consent forms here for us preloaded. And you can see on the right again how it's extracting the relative data. Here's an, you know, it's an interesting thing. I mean, for some reason, I don't know why Abby's, you know, it's getting certain information a little wrong. Um, you could see here at, at the physical address on AWS doesn't come through, the birth date doesn't come through. Um, but Azure does a really good job. In this case, Azure doesn't read the middle initial. Now, these are things you can train it on, meaning um, I'm using a custom parser here. But as you can see, each one as I go through how it's actually. Now, this is interesting because Google wasn't picking this birth date up last week. So that's that's new. Um, as I train, it's crowdsourcing the documents coming into those parsers. So as you can see, it's really wide ranging on OCR engines. Now, most most IDP platforms like Info Input have embedded OCR engines. They're OEMing, um, you know, RecoStar engine or the Nuance OmniPage engine or the Abbey Fine Reader engine to do a lot of this work. Now that gets stale really quick. Ours is essentially sending it up to the cloud to these parsers that are actually you know, every week there's something new that's coming out.